If you or a loved one are living with rheumatic and musculoskeletal diseases, you may be wondering if scheduled vaccinations are safe. Well, there's some good news. Thought leaders from the American College of Rheumatology spend a lot of time researching scientific and medical studies. And you'll be happy to know that the vast majority of vaccinations are safe and effective for patients living with rheumatic and musculoskeletal diseases. There are a couple of rare exceptions. Live vaccinations, like those given for measles, MMR, varicella, and yellow fever can sometimes make you sick if you're on immune-suppressing medications. And some medications can make vaccines less effective. Thoughtful timing and medication management can help you get vaccinated safely. For adults on immune-suppressing medications, we highly recommend getting a strong flu vaccine, a pneumonia vaccination, and a shingles vaccination. Not taking methyltrexate for two weeks after the flu shot will make the vaccine more effective, but you should only do this if your disease is under control. You may be worried that getting vaccinated will cause a flare-up of your disease, but studies have not found this to be true. In fact, people of all ages living with rheumatic and musculoskeletal disease, especially those on immune-suppressing medications, are at an increased risk of getting infections that vaccines can help prevent. If you do get sick, there's a greater chance of it being serious. A vaccination strategy should always be shared between a rheumatology healthcare provider and a patient or their caregiver. Your provider can make sure that vaccinations are timed safely, especially for children on immune-suppressing medications or babies whose mothers were on those medications during pregnancy. Remember to always consult your healthcare provider for up-to-date information about vaccinations, including COVID-19. And for additional guidance, look to the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the American Academy of Pediatrics.